Hang on a sec. So you're telling me that Hasbin Hotel is actually going to be released? First we waited for years, but in reality it's been 10 years, if you watch my other videos you'll get it. And uh, now they promised it would come out this summer, even though there was a writer's strike happening at that time. And what happened that was uh, June, July and August. Yeah, the three months passed by and still nothing. Then we all get disappointed, but in reality we're all just laughing our asses because we were used to Hasbin Hotel not coming out. But now, specifically this time, you want to prove to me that it will actually be released? Well, what are your proofs then, huh, Vivzi? Where are the proofs? Is this more rare designs that essentially had no significant value except for Charlie, so at least she doesn't look like the creator of her own show anymore, but they made a show out of that for six months. A couple of GIFs and uh, unreleased trailer, a couple of teasers. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, hang on. Wait, what is this? Hold on. Are these the claim copyrights for a whole eight episodes of this project? And the titles are registered too? Ho 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 ho! Well, this changes everything completely. And just so you can understand, these titles listed on the official copyright and trademark website of the USA are much more substantial evidence of the show release. And moreover, the fact that this only came out now looks like to me like an amazing and clever marketing campaign for the project. <laughs> Smooth moves. Even with the condition that the creators of the show cannot promote their work due to the writer's strike. What a sly tricksters are they? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, what we are currently witnessing is much more obvious sign of the show imminent release than any trailers where you could just slap on any date and then forget about it, as they promised us in the summer. Either way, when all of this released, the titles and why there are only 8 episodes in the project, we will discuss that today. Well, hello there, my dear viewers. It is I, D, and you're watching D Animation's channel. And why do I have so much hype around these names that popped out who knows where? And now all the bloggers are hyping it up, making four videos about the same topic. <laughs> well, you can't deny that this is an important topic. Because unlike any teasers or trailers where you can change the dates however you want, unlike any promises, in this case, we hear clear information about the number and titles of this episode of the first season of Hasbin Hotel, which we can't just ignore. After all, this is confirmed information right on the official copyright website of the USA. If you go into more detail, what is copyright? It's essentially a website where registered copyrights for works are stored. Usually, through it, you can sometimes predict in advance many movies, upcoming TV series, the number of episodes and even of on which platforms they will be broadcasted. Well, for example, it was here that the number and title of episode that has been appeared, as well as the fact that they will apparently be broadcasted on television platforms, that is, on any possible television channels. I hope you understand that this thing is serious. Yeah, that serious. Of course, uh, with the desire, everything can be deleted and pretend there's nothing there, and we went crazy. Yeah, that was just a hoax, a little prank. A little prank never hurt anyone. Yeah, it's just a prank, bro. However, ask yourself this. Isn't it suspicious to you that such information, the number of episodes and their titles are emerging right now? Precisely when theoretically the promotional campaign of Hasbun Hotel should be happening. Yeah, it's kind of suspicious. Yeah, exactly. Everything is not just happening randomly or by chance. Right now there's a strike of writers and actors in the USA, which has even affected indie companies like A24, who, although cool, are not mega huge players in Hollywood, and they happen to sponsor the Hasbin Hotel. And during the strike, there are certain rules for both actors and writers, and they cannot engage in advertising, distribution or any work that helps promote the project that a certain writer worked on. In other words, Vivienne and many others simply cannot talk about their own work during the strike. And here, completely accidentally, the episode titles and so on emerge! Out of nowhere! And a crowd of bloggers, including me, of course, <laughs> sit here and speculate about where it came from. So let's take a closer look at the episodes and speculate about their titles, and so on. Okay, you ready? Let's go! Well, actually, cunning Vivienne. Actually, that was very slick. Vivienne is already leading a promotional campaign through our hands. For such a genius, a big bow. And for me, it only speaks for imminent release of the project. I'm sure that without a strike, the project would already be filled with tons of interviews, a couple of teasers, and a whole trailer with some song performed by Charlie. It's all naturally suggests itself. 
But since we can't do it in all fashion way, advertising is going around and working through me and other bloggers who decided like, oh, information, let me tell it about it and get more views. <laughs> well, this is what actually is going on on your screen. However, few have thought about it beside me that the promotional campaign is already underway like this. But now you know how cunning Vivienne is, using a whole bunch of bloggers as her advertising subjects. And no one even has to pay! How delightful! And also, you're aware of the importance of copyright websites. And since we're now confident that this series will be released sooner or later, I hope soon, let's take a look at all these videos and see what Vivienne has prepared for us. Oh yeah. And the first thing I see, and you too, is a... Uh, let's take a... Uh, <clears throat> hold on. Only 8 episodes?! What?! Wait, didn't we have information before that Vivienne wanted a season of 30 or 40 episodes? And here we only have 8 in 10 years or... Okay, 4 years of production and even in... Even in 3 or 2... But why is only 8? Well, everything is simple. Let's start by looking at the titles of the episodes and you'll understand everything. The first one is called Overture. Which literally means it's an introductory episode, as an overture is an instrumental introduction to theatrical performance. Okay, the second one is Radio Killed the Video Star, which may tell us about the moral confrontation between Radio Demon and Vox. Or maybe it was just somehow related to Alistair. With the third episode, Scrambled X, everything is quite obvious. This episode will probably be the first time we see Sir Pantheus. Just remember what his minions look like. And the fourth one is Masquerade, which may show the first major event at the hotel. The fifth one is Dead Beat Dead. It's an amusing title, and you can write your guesses about what will be shown in this episode in the comments. At number six coming up, Welcome to Heaven, which obviously will tell us about angels in Hasbin Universe. At number seven is Hello Rosie, which will tell us about Rosie, a character that appeared in the pilot in a small scene. And finally, the number 8. The show must go on! Traditionally for Vivian's project, this should become a real show. The point is that there aren't as many episodes as we would have liked, but perhaps that's exactly what we need or what this story is capable at the moment. I think you will definitely understand that it's better to have a fewer episodes, but with a well-developed plot, rather than having 24 episodes where two-thirds are just a filler episodes. They would be meaningless and filled with dumb and vulgar fan service. Personally, I have a feeling that Vivienne will treat her main career project normally and correctly. And the small number of episodes can actually work in favor of their content, rather than having an unnecessary quantity. Well, for example, right now I don't even know why Hell of a Boss needs four seasons when some episodes are sometimes about nothing, whereas Hasbin Hotel seems to focus on interesting things, and just the episode's titles in the concept already indicate that there is something to talk about. And moreover, I ask you to remember one fact. We don't know at all under what conditions A24 sponsors the hotel. Perhaps uh, there were several outcomes, like uh, not allocating a sufficient budget for the project, which forced Vivienne to maneuver the script and reduce the previously desired 40 episodes to these 8. Or maybe the first season is a pilot, like any TV format. Just remember any Disney Channel animated series, the first seasons are always pilot seasons to test whether the audience needs it. And if the first season meets the required level, they will sponsor a second season with a bigger budget and more episodes. And unfortunately, we will only find out all of this when the hotel itself is released. However, I am glad that we're already discussing and talking from the perspective that it will be released soon, rather than somewhere and sometime in a couple of years. The project has overcome many obstacles, and I hope to have the chance to give us an interesting story about demons and their problems in hell. I hope she won't miss it. So, keeping our fingers crossed, hoping for the best, and guys, I'll see you in the next one!